If I know how to count, I would not have been a successful drug dealer. Listen, he's about to be missing. You know who going to find you? Some old man fishing. Your grandma wishing your soul's a rest, but it's hard to digest with the size of that hole in your chest. And then he then he would say something like, you can suck my dick and I'll fuck your ass. Like DMX was low key, like one of the one of the girls, you know what I mean? Uh, he we did take some artistic liberties that uh It was always like sucking my dick and you're gay. <laughs> like you're gay from me telling you to suck my dick. Next one said something, I'm gonna have you bite the pillow. Yeah. <laughs> it was so weird. All the men before gym before suck all the men that been to jail before suck my dick. It's like, no, dude. <laughs> they will. Isn't it like um a dominance thing? I don't know, man. But he had some super homophobic and super like inviting lyrics. So he I don't know which way he felt about it. They kind of make your mouth juicy. Yeah. Mm. Biggie had the worst lyrics though, as far as why? Because he'd like kidnap your kids and fuck them in the ass, throw them in the river and stuff. Yeah, like that. I heard about so that too. That's kind of yeah. like- <clears throat> There's a couple of ones where they do, uh, like, you ever heard of um, Money, Power, Respect? Yeah. You ever heard of Styles P? Yeah. It's fucking brutal, dude. Yeah. Fucking with a pool stick or some shit like that. It's like, <laughs> why? <laughs> For dominance. He knows what he did it was wrong. Kill him. <laughs> why are you going to embarrass both of you and then kill him? That's weird. Not die with my secret. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful. And you wouldn't you have to? I mean, I'm not gonna tell anybody. I think you have to have that in you to want to like uh, torture somebody. You know in that mean? way, yeah. I think yeah, most of us have other it ways. In us to torture somebody, but not in that way. There's other ways what for other sure. Ways? Like mental torture. Um. Uh, yeah, physical torture, mental torture. Yeah. Anything that doesn't involve, you know. You what? having to get hard. Yeah. Imagine you're like just part of the team. And they're like, oh, we got to torch this guy. So we need you to fuck his brains out. <laughs> like, <you're, laughs> what? I didn't set up for this. I got a wife, dude. You know, I got a wife. Oh, so you're not the sixth sadistic killer we thought you were? Yeah, I'll kill people, but I'm not going to fucking <laughs> give him my flower. The flower. Like, what are you talking about, dude? Give him my flower. Christ. Do it or you're fired. Well, fuck. Can I get something to drink? At least? <laughs> fucking sober. Let me get in the right dude, mindset. I don't even bang my chick in the ass. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I respect my wife, bro. How do you bang my chick in the ass? I gotta fuck this. What did he do? <laughs> Jesus, over some money? <laughs> fuck, dude. I'd be mad at him fucking. What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? <laughs> you know, I don't want to fucking do this either, you bitch. Start hitting him and shit. Just go. Ah! Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it seems like you like it. If you, I know it would seem like it, but I'd be so pissed. I'd be so pissed, dude. <laughs> it would seem like hey, it. Uh, you're the lowest man on total. First hired is the last fire, bro. Oh, no. F- f- last last hire is the first fire. So if you don't do this, bro, you're out of here. Fuck. My second week. <laughs> <laughs> My benefits haven't even kicked in yet. What if I get something from this guy? <laughs> I am going to work God. Don't be fucking stupid. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure, though. Yeah. What if he has crabs or something? Jesus, dude. Are you clean, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I think he said, yeah. Can I pose him down first? That's part of the torture, right? Fucking gross. What kind of organization is this? Bunch of fucking rapists? Jesus Christ. I didn't even do this. Hey, it's coming from the top, man. Don't even think. Yeah. If I would have known this, I would have maybe rethought about this position. Jesus Christ. You spring it on me. <laughs> it's really not even real. Bleeding yeah. your case. Where the fuck is HR? Where, what contract is... Oh, fuck. Right. He starts reading it. He's like, why Big is it so letters. small? <laughs> I wish we had like uh, an audio of like somebody stirring ice, like he's fixing himself a drink. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get a little buzz first. <laughs> and you'd have to have like some type of, uh, what is it? Prophylactic? Is that what it's called? Prophylactic. Yeah, you don't want him to get pregnant. <laughs> what? No, not prophylactic. Uh, uh, what I was trying to say yeah, is. Yeah, prophylactic. Like, no, what I was trying to say is like Viagra or something. No. That's not a prophylactic. <clears throat> No, it's not a prophylactic. I wouldn't take a fucking it's Viagra. A you wouldn't have to take a Viagra to do that? No, I'd psych myself out. <laughs> I would hate to be hard, still hard afterwards. <laughs> That's the, well, how would you get hard in the first place then? I'd psych myself out. There's, it's not. You just, Plus, wouldn't you I'd want psych to, myself out. Don't you want it to be hard so that when you hop in the shower, you clean every inch of it? Yeah. And I'm going to scrub it no matter what. 
Yeah, but now yeah, you can get in the folds. Clean, Every like, inch, you know, is there a transformer and shit? You can't get in the nook and crannies and shit? Not <laughs> once it goes back to a car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's there, back man. to the car. How about you clean, how about you clean the inside? <laughs> <laughs> how do That's you someone's psych your, job wait, to wait, do wait, that. How do, you, how, crazy. how do you psych yourself out for that? I don't know. But if, it was my, if my life was on the line? Yeah. God, God would be God would help me. People would assume that you'd want to do pray that. I to God. If, I'm like, God, if, please get me through this. And God would get you hard? Maybe. <clears throat> you just take a Viagra? No, it's a birth mint. <laughs> 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 what? Nah. Are you taking a fucking Viagra? No, it's a breath mint. <laughs> a pump? Perhaps you're, and you're fucking right, and you're fucking them. They're like, is it till I come or until we both give up? Or am I? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like haven't I been already, counting strokes. I feel like he's already like demoralized already. <laughs> <laughs> I think he learned his lesson. How long do we got to keep doing this? This poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. bro. Orders are orders. <laughs> <laughs> until we both come. Is that what you said? <laughs> no, just what? Until we're both done. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. What the fuck I said? Till Why completion. Are you switching it around, dude. Till completion. <sighs> Hello. Right. <laughs> just in a room with camera. Hello. The camera's like. Mm. <laughs> Wait, how do we get on this topic? What organization is this? <clears throat> mm, dude. <laughs> Horrible people, obviously. Mm -hmm. It's bad boys, P. Diddy. Oh, I thought make hits in, in, uh, in prison. Like it's two soups to just beat him up and like three to throw in some heinous shit. Yeah. And four if you want him back in one piece. <laughs> Six for his laundry. <clears throat> that was I don't a P. Diddy know, one and then uh, I think I'd be a fucking he savage. slips up and says that because Usher used to stay with him when he was like 14 years old. With who? With P. Diddy. To learn the business. Yeah. And Diddy was like, I, I saw, or no, Usher was like, I saw some shit. You slept in the same bed. Yeah, yeah. That's what uh, Diddy slipped up and, and said that when they used to wake up in the morning together. And he was like, well, no, no, not together. And he slipped up. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean. Yeah, I could see how that's a misunderstanding. It's just, it was one of those things where we already know he's one of those, you know. If you're in that business, you are one of those. There's no, there's no like, guilty until proven innocent. I mean. Innocent till proven guilty. You are that. If you get one person that says that about you, you did something. You you were hanging around the wrong. All people. it takes is it's one still, person. It's still your fault. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. All it takes is one person to be like, they molested me. And then you're a molester, bro. It doesn't matter. That that's how society is. Have, have you ever seen that movie? What movie? Damn. It's like uh for, I forgot what's it called, but it's about this teacher who gets accused by one of his neighbor kids. Mm -hmm. And his the parents are like what are we doing over there? She shows up every day to to tell. He's like, she's like a weird kid, and so the mom said, "You, you shouldn't be going over there." She's like, "Why?" It's like because adults do that. He's like, "Well, he did that to me." Like just saying it, mm -hmm. and the whole neighborhood. I mean, his best friend that was his best friend's kid. Wait, they all fucking hated him. No, it's a movie, movie, oh. fictional movie. And <laughs> then so he lost his school thing, his job, and all kinds of shit. And the little girl came over like. After all that shit was going on, they tested her and this and that. They found nothing. But, no, he made me touch him. Like, all fucking just saying whatever. The, so he made you touch. Like, sometimes on that particular movie, the mom was, like, kind of coaxing, you know. Suggesting. Suggesting it, yeah. Without even realizing what she was doing. Right, right. And so after all that shit's done, he uh, his kid came over to his house. The kid came over to his house again. She's like, what are you doing here? He's like, oh, I came to see your bird or whatever the fuck. He's like. Oh, you, you can't come in today. She's like, why? He's like, you said all those things about me. She's like, oh, sorry. And then she goes back to the house and says, mom, that never happened. I just made it up. She's like, what? And then it came out that he didn't do it. <clears throat> and then he, he he went to church all the time. And his buddy sat next to him and started crying and shit. And he started beating up his fucking friend like right in church. Wait, wait, wait. What movie is this? It's a movie. It's all white people. <laughs> okay, that doesn't help. Yeah. Actually, <clears throat> he beats up his friend in church. Yeah, he starts. His friend's like, "I'm sorry." He's like, "What?" He's like, "Is it with JB Smooth?" It's with JB Smooth and uh, Larry David. <laughs> what? what? It's Larry. 
<laughs> and at the this end is of a it, serious movie, right? It's as serious as fuck, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It caught me off guard. I don't like bummer movies like that. I you mean, know what? Either, you man. know what? Though I blame the man as well. You fucking idiot. What, yeah. what do you don't let the kid in your house? And it was his best friend's kid. I don't give a shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hands up at all times. Every time you see a kid, just hands up <laughs> the entire time. Mm-mm. Yep. Elbows up. Side to side. <laughs> 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 I'll get convicted of murdering a child in court. <laughs> I'm too mean to kids, bro. I'm like, what are you doing? Get out, get out of here. That's what I tell them. Just random children? They're always coming up to me. <laughs> What are you doing? Get out of here. I was begging. I was begging for it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Some kids do. What movies do you watch? Why did that come up in your... No, I was just... I, I, my mother was telling me the plot to a movie I'll never watch. About oh, so that. your mom told you this movie? No, I saw this movie with her. This is the oh. type of shit that people watch when, I guess, they don't have enough suffering in their life. That's what it is. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. I call it suffer porn. Um, For my sure. And my girl love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's this is what happens when you never go outside to fix anything or, you know, <laughs> to like When you never change. get hit in the face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you never change something or you never get accidentally shocked by the fucking <clears throat> oven or something, you know, or this is what happened. Oh, I need, I need to feel something. I saw no, this movie. It's called Freedom or something like that or about the kids. Sound of Freedom? Yeah. The kid trafficking thing. Yeah. yeah sound she of told freedom. me the whole fuck. The sound of Freedom? Yeah, yeah. She told me the whole fucking plot and the whole thing. And Veronica and I were like, we don't, like, you guys should watch it. We're like, we're not going to do that. <laughs> no. Mom's like, no, you should. And so here's what happened. Well, you guys are going to watch anyway. And boom, went into the fucking movie. And it was, like, story, it was like yeah. we were watching the movie. And Veronica's like, fuck. It's the same like, people damn. who made uh, Dry Bar, by the way. Oh, good. The comedy them. specials. Yeah, yeah. Well, They're under the same, uh, damn it. Is there even the good guys are corporate fucking dickheads? Or I don't, not good guys, but not the, not the main bad guys. Every, every, all, it's all corporations owning everything. Yeah, of course. Well, who else is gonna? Somebody has to fund the movie. Oh, I know, but whatever happened to uh, you know, like uh, were those old slasher movies like in the eighties where mm. people would make these independent films, and it was just like you know, sexy young ladies with their titties out and then getting slashed. <clears throat> they still have that, but they put it on YouTube. That's actually murder porn right there. Yeah. Yeah, but no, he said real. suffer porn. Suffer porn. Suffer trauma porn. porn. Suffer porn is different. Suffer porn is like You're let suffering. me watch this documentary of these horrific things that happen to these kids or yeah. this woman or this false incarceration for thirty years. Fuck, I know. It's like uh, sorry. Hurricane. Imagine being buried alive. I, I liked for Hurricane. Years. Hmm? What? Hurricane. Uh, the true story about the uh, Denzel Washington oh, plays yeah. the boxer. I, don't, I never saw the movie, like but I, I, years. I heard what it was about. That was the whole theme, right? The first scuba diver black guy, and oh, the first swim team black guys, Cuba and the Gooding first junior, yeah, the first radio, the first retarded black guy, and Scuba Gooding Junior's radio. Yeah, <clears throat> what's wrong with that? I don't know. It's just who's who's that marketing to? I don't know. White people, right? Whoever Cuba Gooding yeah. Junior. Uh... Hurricane was a good movie. It was all right. Uh, what's the other one? The one where he's in the Navy? You just Anton said, Fisher? No, the one where he's in the Navy. Yeah. But what's the movie called? I thought you just <laughs> the said The first it. scuba guy. <laughs> yeah, the first scuba guy. Trout mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a good one, too. No, it's got Men of Honor or something. Yeah. Men really of that. Honor, yeah, with Rob, Rob De Niro, right? Yeah, and he's all bleeding in his fucking helmet because he's trying to hold his breath, and you see all the blood come up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pobrecito. You know, they never they never distinguish. Are they making them go through more than what they do? To, or is this like... They're making it harder for them. They don't want them to pass. Oh, okay, okay. Because yeah. remember at the very... Because uh, they never showed any of the white guy's test. I'm just saying. No, but they like... Like at the end, they cut his tool bag and they throw it under the water. So he has to like search for all his tools. And I they, never saw it. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, they always <laughs> made it harder for him. Mm. Whatever they had to do, he had to do twice as much. Yeah. And then he lost his leg and they tried to take it away from him. Not because he was black, but because he tried to take his leg away. So he had to get over. He had to be like, "All right, y'all, racist. I'm still gonna do this." And then they were like, being like, "Oh, you only got one leg. Mm. You can't do this anymore." And then he puts on the whole suit and he like takes a step and his leg starts to crack. Yeah. But he takes the proper amount of steps, and so he gets to be and he's all like all sweating and everything, and everybody cheers for him. Mm. And all the white people in theater. That's a '90s movie, no? Yep. Mm. It's a good movie. You should go watch it. Why? I just is there a bar scene where you like you like uh, a lot of horseshit movies? 
Not in a yeah, bad way. I like entertaining movies. Yeah. Not in a bad way. Just like kind of like you know, turn off your mind. Let me see. Num- so it's supposed to take me away. <clears throat> no, yeah. he's a he's a sociopath. He'll fast forward through a movie. Oh I yeah, do, I, I watch, do speed watch movies. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do that. That's not watching a movie at all. Yeah, I said it is. You get the gist. What the <laughs> fuck is the point of it? <laughs> Something that I don't want to watch that is common knowledge everybody else. I'll that see. is AI trying to figure out yeah. what it like must watch two hours of popular mu- movies. That's, you know what? That's the way people watch porn, not fucking. And you told me you <laughs> watch the whole thing now in porn. How do you watch the whole thing in porn? It was 20 minutes. But you can't watch a movie. No, I, I, I speed watch that too. Yeah, that's normal. Speed watching <laughs> a movie is just frustrating. Nah, not at all. That's when you, only you, when you say speed watch, you're not like... Most of the writing and di- I, you, the dialogue is horseshit. You're not man. like doing fast forward, like as far as like the whole thing's going 3X or something. I didn't, I didn't speed watch uh, The Irishman. Yeah. I didn't speed watch that, but other fucking, other fucking movies. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was good writing and shit. And so it was other, decent writing. It was all right. With uh, fucking 900-year-old people. Yeah. Well, uh, let's do their actors. Doesn't dude. that take you a little bit out of it? No, it what took me bit. out of it was when they made them younger. And I'm yeah, like, oh. that was kind of weird. Well, yeah, that's yeah, that's their age. <laughs> really? Hold on. So I'm going to watch Lord of the Rings and all kind, but I can't believe Rob Nero is like fucking. No, absolutely not. Come on, because you already are in the fantasy mindset, and you're you're accepting this as I reality. I believe Elijah Wood had those goofy uh, bare feet mm-hmm. more than I believe that shit. That Robert De Niro. That Robert again. De Niro all of a sudden looks thirty nine. <laughs> it's all base all fuck up. I don't know. My <laughs> face half is too. <laughs> he's got a he's got taxi driver hair and <laughs> <laughs> did they just superimpose his face on it? I saw the what's it called Johnny Football documentary with Johnny Manziel. Yeah. Have you seen that one? No. It's number one on Netflix right now. No, but I remember I remember when John Johnny Football was uh king. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Basically the Browns and started doing that little thing. He did in college well, he did it in college because they were making they made like seven hundred and fifty million dollars the college because they got like a new stadium. They were selling his jersey number two and he's like, What the fuck? So he made this uh deal with a, uh, a a business partner who ended up being his friend for a little bit where they would fly out to parties and he would autograph and he'd get like 30 40 grand for that weekend and he was like flying out like every weekend you know what yeah. i mean and then he's like partying with lebron and all these famous people and shit that's probably why he went to cleveland because lebron and uh I'm speculating yeah well yeah yeah i am speculating but uh the cleveland browns were shit and uh yeah yeah, but the whole thing was just like he got away with like why is this guy so fucking popular? You know what I mean? Like why? Why? I mean, not Reggie Bush. Or, it looked like it just fed itself because he got so pop. I think I think I saw this uh, thing that said when he got popular was when A and M was like ranked fifteenth and they went up against Alabama. Yeah, and they won. Yeah, and then yeah. after that, his like he just because Alabama was like. The fucking number one monsters. Yeah. Like, they won, like, a thousand titles in a row or some bullshit like that. Yeah. And he was like, fuck them. Like, with, where they expect us to lose, let's go out there and just fucking play. Just one moment will propel you into, what did you say he was getting? Uh, 50,000? Like, 30, 40,000 every weekend for just going and signing autographs. You imagine you kill goes, it. Just one night you kill it at a show, and like, next thing you know, people are flying you out. That's Angela Johnson. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying, though. But you're young, you're a dude, and you're a little, you know, a uh, little hot-headed. You know what it takes to be a, a, a starting quarterback? <laughs> yeah, yeah a little racist. A little racist here well, and there. Yeah, okay, so the no, whole thing that they that. made up. Yeah, the reason the, re- the, the reason the reason <laughs> the reason he got out of it is because his business partner made up this whole thing that his family from Kerrville had oil money, and that he was rich, but he and his family didn't come from oil money. They were poor. Yeah, well, middle class. Middle class. But they, yeah, they weren't. Olive oil one. They weren't. They weren't rich, <laughs> and so people were like, "Oh, they made it seem like he's just some rich boy partying, you know, football player." And <laughs> that's not. He's just partying with fans, and so um, yeah, he didn't go to jail. He didn't get a scholarship taken. None of that. You know, the conspiracy theorist in me wants to think what that the uh, NCAA uh, was getting people to go feed him more drugs so that, so that uh, he could. The focus would be on him destroying his own life, of course. instead of all the, uh, uh, you know, the underground shit that happens for uh, athletes to get for, paid. Yeah, you know, all the wink, wink deals. Well, all the college. So now they're getting paid now. 
Well, now yeah, they're only some of them. But what I'm saying, as far as like, oh, is it through only through merchandise? I think you can get sponsorship deals or some shit like that. <clears throat> oh. But not everybody. It's, it's just like the people that are the stars. You know, yeah, they're making noise. They're, they're uh, I think they're allowed to get deals. And, and then the reason he goes, I could have been good, but I mean, it showed on like his tablet because he's the starting quarterback. He's supposed to watch tape. He'd watch zero hours, nothing. He would never turn on his, and he wouldn't go to practice, nothing. Mm. And he was good? <clears throat> In college, not for the pros. Yeah, and the pros, pros that's what separates. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he goes, you, yeah, you can be athletic as fuck, but if you're not working on it, you're... He's the like, other athletic guys that are working on it are going to... He goes, I realized I was just in a fraternity called football because his motto is, if we, we win, lose, we drink. Doesn't matter. Ah. Oh, fair enough. I mean... And he was on the island too. You got a little manziel. On what? <laughs> he was on the flight lit, flight log. <laughs> he might have been. I don't Did know. Did you ever know about this quarterback for the Browns? Did you ever hear of him as uh, Whedon? That's his first name. Will Whedon? Whedon, yeah. He's oh the yes, <clears throat> I remember hearing. He's that the name. fuck up. He's the uh, uh, fuck up, fuck up, fuck up. He's on the football field. And they're bringing out the giant <laughs> American flag and the icon under the flag like an idiot. Yeah, I remember that because people were also bringing up the fact, that, like, how crazy is it that he's fucking up all the time and his name is Whedon? Yeah, it just yeah. sounds like somebody that like steps over their own shoelaces. Fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, Whedon! No. It's like somebody that you would yell at in basic training. Yeah. Damn it, Whedon! If you don't pick up your shit, we Stop all gotta flash. go out. <laughs> Stop flashing me, Whedon! You know why he got fired? He was in. He was in Vegas. And he, man, and, uh, yeah, and he, he missed the game. He was mm. like, "Well, it's ten o'clock. Well, it's one. Well, fuck it. I guess I ain't going." That's how much he didn't give a fuck. Mm. Damn, he was already making money though. He just he wanted out. He wanted out, dog. Yeah, Ugh. he just wanted out. I'm Fifty Cent, and this is a giant football story. And it's funny the way like the the backgrounds that Netflix puts puts them in. It makes you think because like um, for Johnny Manziel, it was all blank behind him. So it makes you think like, oh, you lost you everything. All white or all black? No, no, like it's a, it's a, it's his, it's his home, but all the furniture is gone behind him. It looks like a big empty room. Mm. So in your mind, you're thinking like, oh, this guy lost everything. Look at him. He didn't. But he's living in like a nice home in Arizona. Yeah, yeah. Nice enough. Barbecuing that shows him like doing like beer bongs still and shit like that. He's a good, he's a good dude. Oh, he was gonna kill himself. He's a good dude. Yeah, yeah. He was like, I'm just gonna party until I die. Mm. Well, he fixed it, obviously. No, 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 no. He's married now. Uh, We're chilling. Is he? Yeah. Well, good for him then. Maybe. Well, you're the one who watched the documentary. I know. They didn't, they, the didn't, they didn't talk about his wife or his children. No, or no. no. Oh, okay. They didn't saying. even show his family. No. What a stupid ass documentary. Then. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't wrap it up with like a nice bow. Make sure he was okay. Uh, they wrapped it up uh, with it, him and his dad now. Talk. Josh like turned it off, started beating off or something. We're, 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 we're not gonna get the end of this. That's why you speed watch it. Why would I go beat off? So you can go beat off, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hurry up and watch this. I go beat off. Like, all right, let me just watch this. This is uh, tell her I did something. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the store and take the baby with me. All right, cool. And you're like, all right, I'll beat off when she leaves, and then I'll watch like a movie real quick and just be. Oh, I watched this movie. In case you ask me, I'm going to speed through it. <laughs> oh, it's that one in Babylon. Where it shows where they were from the silent films. Vin Diesel? No, no, no. Is it Babylon? Oh, yes, it is Babylon. You're right. With Margot. Uh, yeah, Foxy. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it shows them like the silent films and stuff. Mm. And how they, when they go to the what they call the talkies. And when they when sound first came out. And then these actors, they finally people started to hear in their voices. And they're like, ooh. The fuck is this shit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they couldn't act. The talkies. Yeah. yeah. Mm. The guy that Brad Pitt plays ended up killing himself because they, they made fun of him because he couldn't act. Tell me the whole movie. Why not? Why not? Did you want to watch it? It's three hours long. I did, actually. I heard about it. Yeah. It was on my queue. What are you going to do? Oh, they, I mean, he kills himself at the end, but the rest of the characters, you don't know what happens to them. Mm. They all die. Mm, boy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I wonder what's going to be. So it's coming up. So 1927 was the first talkie. Mm -hmm. All right. So that means 2027 is 100 years of talking films. What's the thing that that like replaces that? 
Why? Why do we have? Why do they have to wait a hundred years? I don't know. It's just a nice round number. Mm. So I figured a hundred <laughs> years. What replaces? Because movies are dying, right? Yeah, not. The, not many people go out to the movie theater anymore. Mm. Enough, enough do. For now, they make all their money uh, on the uh, concessions. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, nachos? expensive though bro yeah. I spent a hundred bucks what the yeah. fuck yeah. <laughs> that's what fuck. I'm saying motherfuckers dude they gotta have the icy machine that they charge you 12 bucks for a medium tickets, tickets were like 7 bucks a piece or some shit like, or 8 bucks a piece so I spent 20 with tax for me and my daughter mm-hmm. now it's like going and to a nice restaurant yeah <laughs> yeah go buy a beer you 8 bucks snacks I went to the one where they don't feed you where you just buy your own shit yeah I didn't even buy popcorn. I bought two things of chocolates and uh, dots. Jujubes at 30 And bucks. two nachos. hundred fucking dollars. Yeah. That's where they're making their money. That's what I'm saying. They're fucking dying. No, no, no. They're not dying. They're just, it's just, they're they're making all their money on like the, the, the Paramounts and the Primes and the shit like that. <clears throat> I'm saying that specifically the theaters are dying. Because mm. that's what it's for. Mm-hmm. No, they make movies for like IMAXs and shit. It's the same thing. Yeah, but there's always that that uh, like I just went to go see this uh, stupid ass Disney movie, Haunted House. Was it good? <clears throat> I liked it. It's stupid as fuck, but it's like the right kind Who's of stupid. It? It's like corny family, but like with some heart and some like funny mm-hmm. parts. Who's in it? Everybody. That is uh, Wayne Ora Ryder for no reason. Um, Rosario. Uh, Dawson, uh, no, Devito, song? Danny Devito, Rosario Danny DeVito. Dawson. This is a Disney movie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a it's a great family movie, dude. He's like Don Cheadle, I think, kids. is he in it too? No, it's the other guy that um, he looked like Chappelle when I first saw him. But no. oh yeah, yeah, he's kind of a, he's like fairly new to the, yeah, yeah. But he's yeah. he's been doing it. He was in the uh, uh, White People Took His Brain or something. What's that movie called? The Key and Peele one. Yeah, them us. That's oh, not Key and Peele. I think it's just. You know what I'm talking about. What was yeah. the name of the movie, though? Get Out? His name Get is out. Key and Peele. Get Out? No, it's two different guys. Key and Peele. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if I ever meet him, I was like, what's up, Key and Peele? <laughs> <laughs> and then he'd be like, every Mexican calls me that. Why? Key and Peele. Hey, Key and Peele. Not even Key and Peele. Key and Peele. Key and Peele. Am I taking a picture with me and my family? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's Key and Peele. Oh, <laughs> Oh, oh man, somebody like, on the girl speaking like, ah, bro, fuck, I saw all of them, dog. Okay, the uh, 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 Alabama worship park, hey, <laughs> Kringle McKringle. Somebody on hey, the a fucking doll, dog. On the album, put on there, great job, White Mohau. And I was like, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> An asshole. It's the White Mohau. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Mohau. You know that that's extremely offensive. You know that. Yep, yep, yeah. How do you think the Mohawks feel? <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh shit! <clears throat> Thank you. I have no pity for white Mohawks. <laughs> there's so many good, honest Mohawks out there <laughs> suffering. <laughs> Good, honest, <laughs> hardworking, <laughs> pinche white mojo. Mojo blanco. Or how'd you say it? Wet whiteness? Huero. Mojo de blanco? <laughs> mojo de blanco. Previously, a mo- Previously a mojo, mojo de blanco. blanco. <laughs> Maria. I don't understand you. What do you mean we got to cross right now? <laughs> I can't. We need more sunblock. <laughs> it's too hot. The water's not cold enough. Pinche white more house submerged. <laughs> submerged. <laughs> oh, I see. It's because I'm white animal, isn't it? <laughs> I guess you guys are embarrassed of me because I'm white more <laughs> <laughs> One man <laughs> must stand out for his own kind. Josh, what's wrong? Nothing. <laughs> the kids keep calling me White Mohawk in school. Son, just because you're a White Mohawk doesn't mean. <laughs> 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 
Damn, that scares the shit out of me. You're white, but you're a Mahal at heart. (laughs) (laughs) I come from a long line of broad blouse. (laughs) Oh, I gotta be different. (laughs) You're the same color as Jesus. (laughs) <laughs> did you know jesus was also a white mohawk <laughs> did you know that think about it at least all the ones in the catholic churches and they pay <laughs> they walked across that river <laughs> <laughs> keep swimming i can't do it I'm just a dumb white wow <laughs> why are there crocodiles in the river <laughs> Don't worry, I'll distract him. He takes off his shirt. He's all bright white. <laughs> <laughs> I show my ass. It just shines. into light. <laughs> under the water, it shines from under the water. <laughs> it's just blaring. <laughs> my way will help powers. <laughs> it's, a, it's a prism. <laughs> <laughs> Dick's I'm, still real I'm brown. I'm every color. <laughs> and that's the resolution at the end. It's like... My dick is brown. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been brown. <laughs> Pink nipples. Dude, we should start a superhero and do like a uh, like a man about town. Fucking, I'll follow you with a camera, and you're you're called a white mohaw. Uh, <laughs> you look like a superhero too. Put some glasses on and take them off. And put some tights. <laughs> you, would have, you would have a trillion views right now. Yeah. Yes. If your if your album was called White Mohawk. Mohawk. <laughs> yes. I can't do just, that. You just had the fucking dub and the M together. Like I, this, I can't do that. I'd be not? I'd be uh, playing off a polar bear. What? Oh, did he say that? Is this white Spanish or white Spanish or something like that? What? Yeah. That's not even close. Yeah, yours is like way more offensive. <laughs> <laughs> I know that, but yours, it's a, yours is what he wants to put. But he's just bro, scared. You should just do a special. It's all your dirty. Hard shit. Yeah. yeah. And then that's when. You know. Let's just start pumping out specials with whatever the fuck, you know, White Mohaw, fucking Hoto Jones. Let's get them all in there. Hoto Jones. I was gonna, Hoto Jones. Uh, the next one I was going to do, I changed the name of it. It's uh, High Dad, Drunk Dad, which was. Have you ever heard of Rich Dad, Poor Dad from uh, Robert Kiyosaki? No, never mind then. Yes, I have. Okay, cool. You think the rest of the people have? I know. You think regular average people have though. I'm not. It's- and on top of that, be, be original, bro. <laughs> you think these mohawks have ever heard these fucking? This is original. Pinchos. I had I had a high dad and yeah, I had my, I had a drunk dad. dad. <laughs> and it's not about them being bad drunks or being bad George, at a high. Or, Jorge Kawasaki. It was that they were. I felt they were better parents when they were higher drunk. You know what I mean? Get your whole crew with. I had two dads. I'm Josh. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Josh, and I'm a white mohaw. <laughs> hi, Josh. Uh, I've been a white mohaw now for 14 years. <laughs> <laughs> I told him uh, last week that his Indian name would be Swim with Wetback. <laughs> <laughs> Bright one that swims with Wetback. <laughs> Yeah, you don't fit in anywhere, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> That's good. You don't fit in anywhere, dude. That's good. There's no market for you. you gotta make your own market. Yeah, we we gotta take away one of your legs. Mm-mm. Yeah. I'm gonna start marketing in India like you did that one time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna start putting my Australia. Um, was Australia? Australia. Australia uh Baby's yeah, in India. India. India, they like me. Yeah. yeah, I I have a few people in Canada that like my shit too. Australia though, I was surprised. I got a, a few uh, yeah, few really? thousand views from Australia. Australia, yeah. And then I got a bunch from New Mexico, but a lot of them. I'm not in New Mexico. Uh, Mexico City. I got a few from Mexico City, but they did not understand a word of English. Put? No. Yeah, I haven't put. I haven't. No, Nintendo. Like they were doing memes. Have you seen it? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw, I read some of the comments. There's a whole bunch of memes. Yeah. Like, we don't know what the fuck you're saying, bro. Yeah. Why am I watching this? Like, out in Spanish. Why am I watching this? I have no idea what this is. Was it good spirited? Like, well, we good for Some you. of them weren't. Some, <laughs> of them were, some of them were like, where's the joke? You know, yeah. yeah. Shit in like Spanish? That. Yeah. You should say, you stupid whip. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm going to get me and, me and a bunch of white more houses and a show about your door, dog. Oh, What's so up? Somebody, somebody already wrote a bad one. They put, uh, no thanks. That one got house. Oh, yeah. No thanks. Never took off. Good luck. 
Oh, that's yeah. not even that's not even that that bad. I know, but it's when they're really when they're really mean, I can be like, yeah. But when they're kind of mean. But kind of, I was just that like, how do you more? think, how do you think I felt about? I guess you had to be there. <laughs> <laughs> the simplest one, dude. I guess you had to be there. <laughs> that's fucking great, dude. That's good shit, that's bro. That's fucking hilarious. That's good dude. shit, dude. Well, I guess you had to be there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you special? That's fucking great. And then, because I'm sitting there, like, no, actually, there is such a thing as being in the live performance. Yeah. yeah but, you know. Fuck, dude, that's fucking great. Well, I guess you had to be there. So truthful. God damn it. That's what hurt the most. His truthfulness. Uh, I always thank the audience when I'm bombing and they don't laugh. I'm like, man, you guys are honest as fuck. I appreciate. This is real honesty right now. You know, no one, no one's even like a little bit polite. Going, <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys are just like, I don't feel it. I, I like that, man. There's so many comedians out there that have they, they did their albums and their specials in theaters and it's like sold out mm. and it has like 200,000 views and I'm like who the fuck is this person oh, I was I've one never last heard of any of these people and yet they got these huge budgets and then they just put it on YouTube I was watching this guy last night I was just going through comedy specials on yeah. YouTube and his name is uh, John Christ John you heard of him millions of views he has like three specials out too and he's clean and he's Christian, and he fucking murdered, bro. I was, like, having a ball with this guy. It's fucking great. Fantastic. Mm. No. <laughs> it's pretty Matt, that gives me that gives me hope you can be a nobody and be somebody at the same time. Talk more yeah. to the mic. Oh. Well, I'm sorry. I don't have a... Put your lips, dog. I don't have a... Headphones. headphones. I know. Because they're all fucked up. Mm -hmm. Josh, I always want someone to feel sorry for him, bro. I didn't. I, I did on purpose. I always want for someone like, to feel sorry. How far I can get I before he says something. I always want someone to feel sorry for you, dog. No, I don't. When and what? The, the way, the way you just said, you're like, I know. <laughs> that's called empathy. That's not feeling sorry for me. Little John, I show you how to do it. <laughs> that's it. Put you back into it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, back to the th And I'm behind Josh, like. <laughs> Girl. Little little Josh was <laughs> uh. Hey, next year you guys uh you shall come with us. We're gonna do that nerf battle again. Nah. Yeah. I'm not gonna do it. You so you what you do is you, you won't be able to go. You take all these nerf guns. You're gonna have a a, a little one, yeah. Can I, I be can, able to go? Marissa can stay, I can take the kids. You get to be on the Dallas field, mm -hmm. right? How, how much is it? It was twenty five bucks. Each? Person. Yeah. Free oh, parking. that's totally doable. Oh, for parking. No, no part. Uh, well, next year they said they're gonna have to pay for parking, but I don't know. What, what are you gonna do when you get in? Like, how much is it to get in there? Twenty five bucks. Oh, okay. Yeah, twenty five bucks a ticket. I don't know how they make money. To do what again? So you go onto the Dallas Cowboys. Are there field. other people shooting at your kids? Everybody shooting at every. That's what I'm saying. There's grown ass men who went in there. They're all decked out, sniper rifles, have the Nerf like machine gun things. Oh my they're, god! Let's be like us three went and then just started shooting little kids with mm -hmm. the Nerf guns. I, I wouldn't be able to tolerate if someone and, shot my and, kid. And some of them don't even have Nerf guns. They have these other ones that have these, like, they're pellets is what they Wait, are. so is that how they're injecting people with the vaccine now? <laughs> yeah. They're having the, they don't want to put a Lino inside the little Nerf thing. <laughs> ah, it's all sticking to the kid and shit. Some of those pellet ones fucking hurt, though, because they're like little, yeah, they're just little balls, but they're, they're little Nerf balls, but they're kind of hard a little bit. And if somebody shoots you from, like, this close, that fucking hurts. I got... What I would do was Zoe would shoot at him, and then when she ran out of bullets, she'd give me her gun, and I'd put my back to everybody shooting me, and then I'd load the gun for her, and the whole time, everybody kept getting in the back of the neck, fucking mm. hurt. They know that's the weak spot. Yeah, yeah, and Well, they, no, they, they just They know see, you got a good neck, though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they just see a big-ass target, fucking big old love handle standing right in front of them, so they just lit up my back. Hey, yo, look at that apple right in the middle and, of the field. And I was wearing pink, bright pink. Mm. So oh, you could man, see me like a mile annoying. away. <laughs> yeah. Dork dad alert. <laughs> and then there was this guy who took it way too seriously and he dressed up like uh all camel out. No, no, no. Tell he, kill me now. No, you could tell who were the military dads. Trench coats. Because the military dads, uh, they would wear their like, veteran hats and then the kids were like decked out in army gear and had it like With across. The fucking the carrier <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> And then uh shit on their flag and shit all. 
like this. And then you had all the moms in the middle of the fight <laughs> going like this, like just videotaping everywhere, just getting a hit, not giving a shit. But they told you at the beginning, do not target children in the face. Mm. But it's like there's so many n nerf bullets going back and forth. It's the, it's the highest challenge. Why would you not do that? They allow adults to show with no kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's adults and no oh. kids. Man, I don't know about that. And so, weird. and the way they do it is, you go to each end zone. And there's red team and white team, and then you'd have hundreds of people run at each other, and they had like the the paintball thing set up in the middle, and then uh, you just start firing at each other. And if yeah. you got hit, you're supposed to go back, but you immediately got hit mm. because it was just people from way in the back. Like sh your own people shot you in the back of the head because mm. you're shooting at them, and then the little kid behind you from ten feet is shooting you in the back of the head because they don't know. I don't know to go to a strip club, bro. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. <clears throat> I can't, fine. man. My girl's super liberal. I gotta go to this drag chess tournament. My son kept <laughs> <laughs> drag chess tournament. That's fucking dope. My son kept acting dramatic. Every time he got hit, he'd fall on the floor and be like, "Oh, help!" And I'm like, "Get off the floor! <laughs> They're gonna step on you. Get off the floor!" And it's sticky. And my daughter would get real into it. They hit my brother. Oh, and then try to charge and go through the middle. <laughs> She's all getting lit up. Yeah, 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 yeah. She didn't care. The platoon thing. Yeah, yeah. She got mad at somebody. You, you hit me. I could have swore she was gonna say, "You fucking hit me." She goes, wow. "He goes, you, you hit me." It sounds like a bad time, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's definitely. You know what? It's good. It gets all that. What's the ratio of white parents to, uh, let's say, I, I would know. say seventy percent white people. I can't. Oh, it's a lot safer, I guess. 70% I can't white do people. it man Those are the ones That had They came with Toy chest Of guns And the way they would do it Is the mother would stand there With all the toys around her And all the fucking kids Would come at her And she would be like Loaded up from Here Here And like they just kept Going out that way And these this, They had this You know how you go golfing And they have that thing That picks up the golf balls yeah. They had that for Nerf bullets So the moms would be out there On the phone like this As the Nerf war is going and they'd be picking up all the bullets and Getting stuff. Getting shot in the face. Yeah, they don't give the a shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> were, there, were there any fine ass moms out there? Uh, I cannot. Uh, so there were. Foine. Really? I, I think, did you get any numbers? Uh, what? Oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> he totally got numbers. You got numbers, dude. You got numbers, got numbers too. Got it. Yeah. What yeah. are you talking about? I was more mad because. <laughs> You're a number, Doc. Because. Uh, Marissa was uh, talking crap about the Cowboys standing on top of the helmet in the end zone. Oh, man, you should have pushed her, dude. <laughs> <laughs> should have pushed her to where her feet left the fucking ground. <laughs> I want to tackle her. Fuck that, dog. No, no one's down the Cowboys store and talk shit like yeah, that. That bro. was fucking... Just standing on the field was fucking dope. I, I wasn't even taking pictures of the family. I kept taking pictures of me and the star, and I was like, oh... So get, out get, out get out of the way. What do you get, get out of that? Did you see him play yesterday? No, I didn't see him play yesterday. And I was blacked out. You, you know why? Because I walked in, and you know what, what I saw? It? I saw a big photo of Troy Aikman and then Emmett Smith, and that's what I remembered. And, and did you salute? And they never played in that arena. Never did, <clears> yeah. Yeah. But their spirit did. Yeah, exactly. I heard people were doing, like, standing. You, you walk in, you see them, and people were pretending to give them head in, like, pictures and shit. <laughs> oh, I saw a picture of uh, this couple that got caught... Uh, uh, having coitus uh -huh. in in the Dallas uh, stadium when it first uh, I guess they wanted to oh, uh, inaugurate it christen it christen it yeah, yeah. yeah it's weird they have these uh, owner suites or something but they're on the field yeah and then it goes down like a couple stairs you can't if there's a whole lineup of football players in front of you you can't see shit. You literally will have to watch it on the TV and then you look to your right and there's the football field and it'll be a bunch of people standing in front of you. So I don't understand the point of those boxes. Privacy. <laughs> you could have strippers do drugs, all kinds of shit down there. And be at the game. I guess mm. so, yeah. I mean, or I don't know, maybe the they didn't plan it right. Who knows? Uh, let's just get as much money. You know, okay, so this is what I'll say about the Nerf thing. Tell me about it. It's it's a good way to get that uh, school shooter out of them. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't know. Just really? put it in them. Yeah. It's like, oh, man, it's so easy. You just got to pull the trigger and... Wouldn't this be funny and more fun if they didn't, like, get up and try to shoot you again? <laughs> what? Yeah, kill them all. The only one that got mad, I, I got kind of upset was the guy who dressed like, he dressed like Dirty Harry. That's what he dressed like. He had the whole cowboy suit on and everything. And uh, That's not bad. That's not Dirty, dirty Harry. No, he had a, a rifle. A trench coat? He had a rifle, oh, rifle, and he was able to shoot from, like, 20 yards away, and he kept 
dinging uh, my son. In the head? In the body, but still. Ah. Why did you get a Nerf football and fucking beat him in the fucking head with it? You should take one for next time. That way you can monitor a bomb. You should have. <laughs> you should have approached him and fucking hemmed him up, bro. Because you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. If I'm walking into a pool, I'm gonna get wet. But that's my son, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's my son, dog. Yeah, he's doing that squirty thing. <laughs> but it was for it was like a four hour long battle. <clears throat> who has who, in your relationships, right? Who is the one that speaks? Like, if you guys are doing something wrong, you don't know, or like, which which one of your kind of was it you or is it your counterpart? What do you mean, like, someone's doing something wrong? Like, say you're in a parking spot and the cops like, hey, you can't park there. Does your girl go? Oh, sorry, we're just trying to, you know, or I mean, you go, I all right, cool, that and then I leave, huh? I talk in that situation. Most situations, I talk, but if it's like dealing with customer service, she talks. Mm, mm. Yeah. Mm. Cause I'm very much like, what like are we, if you're breaking the rules, like at a pool or something, and like, then I talk, and you talk. Yeah. If you're breaking the rules, like if my whole family's peeing in the pool, it's shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Then I talk, mm. and it's I act real stupid, like what? I don't know. Huh? We were at the uh, uh, San Pedro Springs, yeah. which is very nice, by the way. Very nice. You been there? No, I don't know what you're talking about. It's down San Pedro, they have a public uh, pool. Giant uh, fucking pool. It's huge. Uh, it's a spring, though, so it's constantly uh, running. So the pee gets circulated all the time. Yeah, we it. drink pee and all that shit. Yeah. It's good, though. It tastes good, dog. Urine? San Antonio. San Antonio pee. Countdown City pee. Oh, dude, so there's a lot of medicine in there. in it and barbacoa. No, food. they won't allow you to bring food in there. Only fruit and water, No, and right? they're pissed. Oh, fruit farts all in the water. Oh, pee there's, farts. There's, there's. <laughs> <laughs> what are you ever had a pee fart before, bro? No. It's when you fart and you pee a little bit? No, I've had where I'm peeing and I fart a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's a uh, fart pee, bro. So the, the lady, uh, lady comes up. We have like a Celsius or something like that. And the lady comes up to us. And she's like... I'm sorry, you can only have water or fruit in here. You're going to have to take that outside. My girl goes, it's for energy. And I go, what? I was, it's it's sparkling water. It's water. It's just in a can. She goes, oh, well, I guess that's fine. And then she does how the lifeguard walks off. I was like, what the fuck? Why would you just say that? She's like, it's for energy. Like, <laughs> Is this supposed to she panic? She panicked. Yeah, she, she, was, she like, knew she could say something that would diffuse this. Yeah, she just went with energy. <laughs> so then, like half hour later, her cousin shows up, and her cousin does not give a fuck. They're eating Doritos. I'm like, hey, the lady told us something. She's all like, oh, okay, I'll just wait till she tells me something. I was like, all right, cool, dude. But aren't you like that anyway? Yep. Yeah, I am like that too, though. Which but is it, fine. But it annoys Standing you when other people. people. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't mind it, but like. <laughs> you just did you're it right now. Bracing for like, me. All right, so this yeah. lady knows I know the rules because she told me the rules. You know, <laughs> be different. We're all together, and I'm like, I read them. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Let me just like let me do what I want to do. You know. Yeah, yeah. So the but the funny thing is, They've it dressed you. It runs in her family, right? <laughs> because the guy, the girl comes over. She's like, Hey, I'm sorry. Um, I I told them <laughs> like she like involved us. You know, like, Hey, I'm not gonna tell her the rules. Fuck you. She's like, well, I told them that oh, it's only water and fruit, and it's a bag of Doritos and some other shit. She's like. He has food allergies. <laughs> I was like, okay. Okay. All right. That's what it is. And She's she like, that? we need energy. No, we got the, a lot of allergies. The, 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 uh, the lifeguard was like, what? And she goes, oh, we'll, we'll just put it up. Don't worry about it. We'll put it up. And I'm like, huh. It's for energy. <laughs> that might work, though. It might throw the person off. You know yeah, it mean? threw me off. She has food, <laughs> it's food allergies. And I was like, what? What does that even mean? I'm sorry. She, he can only something. eat Doritos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has food allergies. He can only eat Doritos. Yeah. <laughs> it was like it was like you know it was it was a, a a good attempt, but I I can get out of trouble like that. I mean I don't know. I guess it's like you got to be. Able I to guess think I on just your never feet. put myself in situations where somebody's gonna tell me something. Like you never been pissing on them somewhere and they go, "Hey man, it's illegal. You can't piss there." No. Nothing. Nothing. No, I mean, I'm sure I can think of You're something eventually. But uh, off the top of my head, I can't think of something where if, I, if you ask, somebody had to address me. If you act confused about it, mm -hmm. like what? Like like you? They told you, but you still understand. They might think you're stupid. Yeah. But though, yeah, you can get you can get out of it pretty easily. Yo soy just, they, hey, they, they yo soy why, why more house? <laughs> <laughs> Morning late. When I was living in New York, I was uh, 
a, a, the creek in the cave, and it was still early enough where there was people inside the restaurant. Yeah. But what they do is when it, it was like summer, so they open these windows, right? And there's like tables right next to, and I'm I was so used to like smoking out right outside of it. I was smoking, <laughs> and it's a wind it's right next to the window, and it was open. And it was these two people. So basically, I was smoking next to someone like from here to there. Yeah. And 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 it goes, hey man, do, do you mind not smoking right there in the window? And I swear to God, like I, I actually apologize. I, I was since I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And but when I said I'm sorry, I think the guy thought I was gonna say something sarcastic because I said it too genuine. Like, oh, I'm sorry. And then he kind of braced back, and then I just moved away, like stepped away, and you could see like. His face was like, all right. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. He should move. <laughs> yeah. and I was like, yeah, I should. But you bro. shouldn't. You shouldn't move, though. You're <laughs> no, I should have. Because I was, no, I mean, if you're, ta- you're talking about, like, legally, no. But, like, I don't want to be a dickhead. I was kind of. This is how life is, homie. You yeah, know? Yeah, it is how Deal life is. But Not even like- I understood it so much. It's like, I'm smoking. I might as well have been inside next to them. Would you have asked someone to move? Uh yeah, I mean if I saw my if, whoa really if I if I saw my girl going like I would have to I'd move tables I wouldn't go ask them for, to move for me uh huh for me no for me I wouldn't say anything if I was just me mm. first of all it just smells like me yeah if my girl's going <laughs> I'd be like let's just move tables bro he's outside I can't can't do anything about it he's already in the street he's not in here are they gonna eat dinner or something hmm? are they sitting down to eat yeah. Damn, yeah, you're ruining their meal. Yeah. They ruin their own meal. How you can sit next to a window with a guy smoking? Listen, I understand that legally I was within my rights, and if I wanted, I could be an asshole about it, mm-hmm. but I understood it. It was like, yeah. That's you being an asshole? Now it's not him inter- interrupting your life? No, I think when you take things that petty, that is being an asshole, because mm-hmm. it, it didn't hurt me to just sidestep. How did he say it again? Step. How did he say it again, though? He said, excuse me. Do you mind not smoking in front of? He said it in the in the most reasonable way possible. Oh, okay, the, the, okay. the best is when they yell at you. But you could tell he was upset. Yeah. Excuse me. Do you mind? You know when they yell at you and then you do the huh like that that because they don't know how to handle that. They assume because they already went to a hundred that you, that it's like oh you're gonna snap and when you don't react and you look like I don't know what you're talking about mm. it that all that energy goes back on them. I walked into a one of those. Uh, head shops where they make bongs and stuff like that this is in college and i was like yeah i'm here i want to make this bong and i have this pipe and the owner in the back goes did you bring that have you used that pipe before i'm like yeah but for tobacco and i look back at the guy and he goes what? and he goes and he looks at it and it's all this resin all in there and he's like you gotta get this out of here man what the fuck are you doing i was just like oh i want to get this put in the bong <laughs> there was another one that he made because it's called bong vodka and he grabbed that one for me, and he had me pay for that one, and he was going to make the other. So I got it. By playing dumb, I got what I wanted immediately. Mm. I mean, it could have gotten bad. I, you know what I mean? I'm going to call the cops or something. But You know, you know I, the other day, I almost thought about that, about taking a pipe and going like, hey, can I get something that's in You can't take a used size? pipe, yeah. But my common sense kicked in, and I was yeah. like, they're probably not going to like that. Yeah. Oh no! Inside, I was like, "Oh, you knew fuck. you were fucking up." Yeah, yeah. I knew Before? I fucked up because he yelled at me in a in a store full of other college students. You know what I mean? Mm. And they all look at me like I'm like I'm not gonna. No, fuck you. Now I'm gonna make you feel stupid by being stupid. Be like, all right, well, just if you can do this for <laughs> Get me. Get out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're like what? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's a crack pipe. I thought you. Because you can't continue to yell at a stupid person. It's just. Energy wasted. Most mm. people realize that. I think. So the wise man plays the fool. Is that what you're saying? I guess so. I never put words to it. Yeah. The wise, wise man pretends he's not committing a felony. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's a misdemeanor. State lines. What does that mean? <laughs> Ma? <laughs> Ignorance of the law is no excuse. What? What's the law? Ignorance. <laughs> Which is crazy, right? Because what? there's like a trillion laws. But I'm liable for all of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A trillion laws. You're liable for all of them. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It doesn't matter if you know. No. And every year they put out more. Got to raise some. No. Nah. Put loopholes for others. But I'm supposed to keep up with all this shit like I'm a lawyer. 
Yes. And the end, all those laws, they are still to be interpreted. It's crazy. Exactly. Talking about I owe 3000 to the IRS. <laughs> <laughs> 3000 of what? <laughs> of whose dollars? I don't know all your fucking rules. I didn't ask to be here. Did Three. you move here illegally? <laughs> well, yeah, but it's the nineties. The economy was great. Everybody was doing it. You want to move back? <laughs> you gonna help me move? <laughs> the expenses. That's what Veronica wants to do. She wants to move to Mexico and we just live our life. Get dual citizenship. My cousins are doing it. Everybody has that. I want to see. You have dual citizenship, right? I've asked you that. Uh I don't know. You mean you don't know? I don't know what their policies are. I've never been back. I don't but you have a birth certificate from birth Mexico. Certificate, yeah, yeah. Yeah, then so then you have, have dual, dual citizenship. citizenship. All right, well, there you go. Problem yeah. solved. My cousins all have dual citizenship. <laughs> when it becomes... She when, wants me to get it. When all you guys are forced to take the vaccine so you can buy milk, uh huh. that's probably when I'm going to be like, all right, well, I guess this citizen is going to go back to yeah. his mother. It's not going to be vaccine. It's going to be uh, your, your, you can't say certain things or else they'll shut off your CBDC. I think it's going to be I think it's going to be prima nocta. It's going to be Ian, Ian Rant. Mm, it's Prima Nocta. I think Biden's going to be allowed. I don't know why when you said Prima Nocta, I thought vampires for some reason. No, it's so first night. Vampires? That means on the first night of your wedding, Biden's going to be able to take uh, your bride into his bedchambers to bless the marriage. Can I watch? No, Honestly, bro. if anyone's going to do it, I'd rather it be him. <laughs> <laughs> right? I, I don't want some Vero. <laughs> no, nah, I don't want some I couldn't like... see Obama. It's like, oh, you're ruined. <laughs> no, Obama. Actually, no. Like, no, because Obama, watch? Obama, I heard. Um, don't say like, it. Don't do it. Uh, you haven't heard about Obama, Obama's uh, ex's little, le- uh, letter? Being a little sweet? Yeah. Really? I heard, yeah, that apparently he has an ex him. who's got... Uh, a letter where he said, I'm a pop tart. I'm soft in the middle. Well, no, he said something about like, I make love to men every night in my dreams or something mm-hmm. like that. But he could have been well, being who poetic. Hasn't had, who hasn't had a weird dream? <laughs> who hasn't You've never had, had a gay dream before? before? Every night? you never had a gay dream before? No. Never? Josh, <laughs> you've never had a gay dream before? No. <laughs> you liar, dude. Oh, you, hold on, you've had a gay wow. dream? Wow. Yeah, of course I have. It was weird. Have you? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Okay. The fact that you haven't, you're a liar, bro. You can't or even repressed. help that shit. No, I I haven't. Did you did you get it or did you give it? I didn't have any of it. <laughs> you're lying, I'm dude. I'm not lying. You at all. are. Everybody not, has. No, not everybody. Whatever, dude. You're the fact that you're all fucked up on the inside and mental case and you're submissive, all that shit. Bro, I know you've had a fucking weird dream. I've had weird dreams. No, well, gay dreams. I'll say it. You you had sex with another man in no, your dream. No, I did not have sex. You dreamed it. No, and so I it did happened. not have sex with any man in any of my yeah, dreams. Some guy kissed you probably. Or nightmares. Some guy sucked your dick in your Never. dream. Never. Get out of here with that shit. Damn. That happened to you, though. Yeah. Okay. I turned in my bed, and there was a dude looking at me. <laughs> yeah. And I woke up. Ah! See? Okay. Yeah. And, my, and, and then my girl said, uh, uh, at the time, said, what's wrong? And I said, I thought I was back in Iraq. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> okay, but that's different. He said, like, having sex with a man. In no, the I mean I wasn't uh I wasn't blasting a dude or getting blasted, See, but dude, I definitely did. it was like, hey, but <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I've had some crazy dreams, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> no, I, I never questioned it, but I was like, what the fuck did I eat last night? <laughs> 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 Isn't that weird? If whatever dream you had, you have a nightmare. You're like, I can't be eating bananas before I go to sleep, dude. Babe, I'm gonna go to bed. You want some of this barbacoa? No. Ever so many barbacoa? Go gay at night. I mean- <laughs> what? <laughs> did you buy the leading one or the fatty one? <laughs> did you go down the street or did you go to this grocery store? Nah, bro, that's different. That's that's like, yeah, yeah. No, that's different. What do you mean it's different? But you never what? had somebody morph, <laughs> morph into. Oh fuck! I had somebody morph, dude. That shit freaked me out, man. And then the dream You're with not Josh. Who I started with? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But she didn't morph in that dream. You just heard my voice snoring. That's a gay dream to me, dude. You know, baby. <laughs> you, you penetrated my dream, my dream world. Penetrated my dream pussy. <laughs> <laughs> You, you were tapping on his dreams, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying just the tip. My dreams, pussy. Let me just come a little bit. 
No, I've had <laughs> explicitly like like homoerotic dreams. Yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And, bad, I, and bro. the first it's one like I you had, owe tickets like <laughs> how much yeah. it's bad dude. it's really bad dude if they catch me dude oh fuck I'm going away for a long time <laughs> a day or two yeah, yeah I've had some crazy dreams I wake up you know I had them I've had them for you know they pop up like one, once every five years you know and then you're like, what the f-? first one I had, I was like, what the fuck is my problem? Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's not a what problem. Just... I got to go fuck a thousand bitches that I get to wash the taste out of my mouth. Oh, you were sucking dick in the, in the dream. No. Well, you just said wash the taste out of my mouth. It's a joke. What the fuck are you going to say? <laughs> I get mad. It's a joke. No, I've never been like... the one to uh, give. I've always been the one to receive. And it really fucked me up, you know. And then later on, I was like, hey, it's just what I got to stop watching TV. What the fuck did I eat? You know, because I know I, it normally happens like if I'm falling asleep and then you can never dream of a face that you haven't seen or a person you don't know. So who is the person or the face that you saw? Mostly celebrities. Yeah. Who who is who is giving it to you? I fucked uh, Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big dude. <laughs> His Batman suit. Yeah, it was crazy, dude. Big dude. Yeah. We're, had, we're throwing a train on Michelle Pfeiffer. Uh-huh. And uh, <laughs> somehow our dicks got into each other or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, they, they keep. I think it was because uh, the George Clooney Batman, when they kept showing their asses and shit. I was yeah. Like, uh. But, but yeah, but. It, Robin you, was eating my asshole and George Clooney was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's something different, dude. Nah, it's just like, oh, fuck. And, you know, you wake up. Before anybody finishes, you're like, ah, oh, what the fuck? Before anybody about? finishes, <laughs> yeah, 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 before you have a wet dream, you mean? As, as soon as it starts like getting like too much, you're like, whoa, dude, wake the fuck up, bro. Oh, wait, wait. Going. So the having sex, Batman as as fucking feel, you is I, not this is too out much. of control. You wake the fuck up, bro. Yeah, but yeah. it was it was it must have been out of control as soon as your dicks got tangled together, or whatever you said. Yeah. Don't. No, one time I was. Well, I was, once the suggestion was made, I was like, George. <laughs> one time I was gonna bang this girl. And then she like spread, and then she sp- spread down there, and it was a little dick, <laughs> and then my dick went into the ah! urethra of that dick, and then I went. Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you're holding your breath the whole time. You're underwater and shit. The fuck was that? And she was hot <laughs> as fuck too. But there, I did stick my dick into a dick. Ah. All right, learning a lot about my friends here. Yeah, well, we still have dreams at night. We don't. I don't like die in my sleep like you do every oh, fucking I, night. I, yeah, I have a lot yeah, of dreams bro. where I die a lot. I remember the first the first time I had like no, not the first time. The last time I had a wet dream, Ooh. I was in I in Iraq. Okay, that was a long time. And ago. this chick was riding me, and then and then I got woken up because mm. we were by your going, friend riding you. We were gonna go out <laughs> <and run. laughs> They're my holding friend, you down. Dude, my friend was right. He was dropping it hard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. You're just like they woke us up uh, to go on patrol, and the whole inside of of, of my uh, thigh was like I Mackle. jizzed on. You had your little secret. I just on myself. Little secret put on your boots, and it's like What's going that? down. And in it your was boots. this girl. What's like, that she noise? Was so beautiful, <laughs> man. <laughs> and I was just like, oh my god! It's not even having sex. I was a there. virgin. Ah, uh, sex. There you go. I had sex with Pamela Anderson one time, and right as I was going to stick it in her butt, I woke up, and I was like, fuck. We're having sex for, like, I don't know how long. It was in between her legs and shit, and her titties all jumping, and and she's all, she wasn't talking or anything like that, but I knew it was Pamela Anderson, you know? And then I flipped her over. I'm like, I'm going to stick it in this bitch's ass. And I woke up, and I was like, fuck. I didn't appreciate the time we spent together. I was more (laughs) like, damn it. Why the fuck did I wake up? No alarm. I was checking my alarm. No alarm went off. I had to drink the uh, uh, furries. We were both furries where we had, like, uh, old costumes on and shit like that. Who's we? Me and whoever was in the other costume. It could have been a dude. (laughs) Okay. Well, you do it that way. Yeah. They were small. And they were smaller. Or maybe you bestiality. You're fucking an actual rodent or whatever. (laughs) They were a rodent, chipmunk. I knew it. And I was a chipmunk. That was me. I was chipmunk in the suits. <laughs> <laughs> and they were the little chipmunk. And the chipmunk costume had like chipmunk female features. Yeah. Yeah. This all has to be edited out too because my father watches this. Oh, it's too late. I can't. Sorry. You're a liar, bro. How am I, um, Why? Because I wanted it out? No, because you want to admit that you've had like a gay dream before. 
Everybody's had I, a gay dream. No, not everybody. Has yes, had a gay everybody dream. has. It's a natural fucking thing. Believe me, I looked it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never had a gay dream. I've never had a. To why do you think everybody always nightmare? laughs when I go? You ever have a gay dream? You wake up, your mouth's all juicy and shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit gets a pop, bro. Well, it made me swallow right now. <laughs> what? You swallowed? Your mouth was all juicy. <laughs> yeah, right now I was like. <laughs> Uh, right, my mouth gets all juicy if I wipe too hard. If you wipe your butthole too hard, <laughs> <mouth is off. laughs> and then I just spit you in the on, shower. You know, <laughs> death in your dreams, homosexual dreams, a lot of death. fucking straight dreams. Maybe you had death when have, you die. I don't have a lot of sex One dreams time. though. I have I have a bunch of those all the time. <clears throat> Gosh, I've been shot. I've never yep. had deaths in the on, wait, de- like. You hear of a family member dying, mm-hmm. and you're devastated. Mm-hmm. I've never had that. Good God! I yeah, I've had that. I've had the sh- where somebody in your dream, dream dies. You dream of one of your family members died. Yeah, oh, I've, I've had never that. had that. Good God, that's got to be horrific. I've, I've had that. I've had the yeah, I've had that shot, too. drowned, stabbed. Mm-hmm. Um, I've, I've done all that too. Yeah, haven't been burned. Falling, I jumped into a fire. Falling to my death. I've had that. Oh, I love falling. That's the best feeling. That's the every time I fall, I'm like, you're dreaming. You're Have you ever dreaming. jumped really high in the air and you figure, oh, I can't fly, and you're hurtling back towards the earth? Every time I get in a fight, I feel like I'm fighting underwater. Like in the mm-hmm. dream, I can't speed up. Like my, my I had a dream where I slow. beat yeah. up like 50 ninjas, and I woke up thinking, I know karate, bro. Like I know how to fight. The Matrix downloaded into your head. I was like a little ass kid. I once thought I, I figured out how to fly because I jumped up and then I went. <gasps> And then I just kept floating. I was like, <laughs> These fucking idiots don't know. You just hold your breath when yeah. you jump. You start flying. And I started. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. Life is going to be amazing from here on. <laughs> in, in real life, it's your mom holding a pillow over your head. Oh, just like, <laughs> You're flying me. Your spirit me, is flying up to the. <laughs> <laughs> and then somebody comes in. Like, oh, hey, what's <laughs> he had a booger on his face. <laughs> wiping off with the pillow. <laughs> I just had the craziest dream. <laughs> I was flying. What? What is that too? Like we, like, what, what? Why do you take that gasp? Even though you're not, you're not moving. You're laying there, and it's in your dream. Like Coming it affects back to you, consciousness. That affects you emotionally. I know when I'm concentrating. Sometimes I forget to breathe. Mm. It, it, you come back from consciousness. The worst is having that uh, when you're having a dream, and in the dream, like you feel like you got shot in the stomach or you're something really, really hurts. Mm. And then you wake up and it's just, you have horrible stomach cramps and you take a shit. Mm-hmm. I've had that a few times. Wake up <clears> sweating. I drink in excess every night, like like three or four bottles of water, right? Mm-hmm. And I get a big cup of ice and I put it next to the nightstand. I'm in there, you know, it takes a while to get to sleep. We're just in bed and I'm just pounding that. So every day I wake up, I got bad kidney pain because it's all backed up. My bladder's about to bust and shit. You don't That's, wake up oh. in the middle of the night to go piss? Sometimes, sometimes I'll, I force myself. I'm like, get up. Because I can just like just deal with it. You're fine. Just, oh, I can't do that. Once just I switch feel your like leg, you'll be all right. You know, Once you I got to piss, make deals like, with yourself. Yeah, that's, I can't make a deal with myself. Yeah. I'm just like, just go piss. Yeah. I don't want to get up. I'm like, the weariness of like, I'm going to bump my foot on something. Like, just, just deal with it. Just stop. It's pitch black. Yeah. Pitch black, my house, dude. So somehow you- my girl knows the exact steps to not hurt herself. I hit myself on the bed, on the fucking dresser. Why don't you put like a little, like a, uh, like a little thing for your, for your a light? No, can't, no, I can't. No, no, it's like devoid thing, of light, bro. The thing that leads to the toilet, and you just put your dick in there. And can- oh, okay, like a big t- funnel. T- I, I, I would do that, but having to clean it because it's gonna eventually stink. You know what I mean? The pipe. Mm. Yeah, isn't that called something when in, in the in medical industry they put a catheter? Foley? Yeah, catheter. No, nah, catheter. Yeah. What you call? Oh, it? I thought you meant like a long ass thing to my toilet. I mean, it's essentially a catheter. It, just... It's it's a catheter. It's a it's a Foley catheter. Yeah. Hmm. It's this little plastic tube, and it's and it has like a hard plastic thing, and it or, goes inside your dick. Or put they that blow jug. up the balloon in your bladder, so it, it goes in there, and it blows up the balloon, and so it it can't come out. You know. Yeah. And at the end of it. Is these little like reservoir tips where it drains the bladder? Drains it. Yeah. No, what, don't they have those jugs where you pee in those jugs at the hospital? Oh yeah, those jugs. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you take one from the hospital and just piss in the jug? So I would fill up three of those though, dude. I piss. The like, jugs are a gallon. 
Yeah, I piss oh. hard. Oh, I piss till I get bored. When you when you sitting there like with one hand on the thing going. So like, when you take a piss and there's somebody taking a piss next to you, do you try to piss harder than them? No, no, no. I just try not to fart too loud next to them. Oh, I want no. them to know I'm here. <laughs> oh, I don't want to be disrespectful, and I want them to hurry up. I don't know why I, feel I have pro I have prowess in the length uh, and what's up, bro? Oh fuck, man, good what's dick, up? bro. Uh, in the length and the uh, the pressure of my piss brings me prowess. I like like hearing that. My favorite thing to do is to someone's at the urinal and I'm about to blow up the fucking bathroom. I got no respect for like I'm not gonna hold it until they leave. I'm gonna go. As loud as I can, so they can go. Ugh. Like, do you hear the shh and they wash their hands or quit and then they get the fuck out? Because in my head, I'm like, yeah, don't hang out, bro. It's but what if, okay, out. what if you do that and all I hear is, yeah. I've heard little kids go, dad, oh, like the smell. Damn. It's a, yeah, yeah. Just, yes. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> and he's like, oh, okay, come on, let's go. You know, somebody's wet for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Represent. <laughs> Represent. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you dealing with a professional. <laughs> Dad, did you hear that? I've heard that before. Dad, did you hear that? Yeah, Come I said on, it's fine. Go. It's fine. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Let's go, Brian. Yeah, Brian. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brian. Can you, you go, me, Brian? You should do that and be like, can one of y'all give me some toilet paper? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I normally hype it up and I go, fuck. <laughs> I normally, I swear to God, I, I, I normally do that. Uh, where I go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bottle lip quivers. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, is he okay? Uh, no, he's not. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I'll never drink again. <laughs> No, no, no. Okay. What shows you guys got coming up? Man. All right. What shows I got coming up? Let's see. Little John, i show you how to do it. I'm doing the Deco Ballroom uh, with Mary Piccarazzi Lazzi. Um, I'm featuring for Tanvir Aurora. I heard he's fucking dope as fuck, so I'm excited yeah. to see him and, you know, cook and shit. And I'm doing... Um, some other stuff I forgot, but the thing I'm excited about though is uh, September 21st at Laugh Aloud Comedy Club. It's gonna be uh, I'm gonna be going last, and my friends will be on it. It's gonna be dope as shit. You oh guys yeah, we're gonna it be out. It. Yeah, um, go to the uh, tickets uh, laugh lol san antonio dot com. I think it'll put you to the other site. And uh, hit, man, buy some tickets for your boy, dog. Stop being a bitch, dude. Oh yeah. Uh, roll. <laughs> Uh, I got the 25th and the 26th. I'm opening for Felipe Esparza. And then August 31st to September 3rd, I'm going to be in South Padre Island, uh, McAllen, Laredo, and Brownsville. Hell yeah. Uh, I'll be in August 25th, Corpus Christi at uh, Sal's Bronx Pizza. Uh, so go check that out Saturday night. And then... Uh, September 8th and 9th, uh, I'll be at the Velveeta Comedy Club, the Velve in Austin, Texas, and check out Toys for Sale out now. Uh, thank you for all the people who have already liked it and saw it. I appreciate it. And, shared it. And shared it. Uh, thank Share you for it. that. Let somebody yeah. know, man. Hell yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. Clap, bro. Hell yeah.